What is going on everyone? Riddick here and welcome to Off The Shelf Air Guns. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Discovery Optics MS39 by 40 scope, specifically designed for spring piston brake barrels. This is specifically designed for that to absorb the shock and vibration that a spring piston provides. So let's go ahead and unbox it, see what we got. All right, we got the Discovery Optics MS39 by 40 scope here. Again, specifically designed for Springer piston brake barrels. With that said, let's go ahead and start opening this up and see what we got. Let's open here. Okay. I think everything, yep, everything is contained in there, so get rid of that. Get this open. I'm excited about this one. Let's see what we got going on here. Come out of here. All right. Let's see here. Cleaning cloth, of course. No manual. And the scope itself. All right, now it does not come with scope rings, so we'll have to do that ourselves. which is perfectly fine. There are some versions of this that do come with the, uh, the rings and things like that. This is not that. So here it is. I like how it has a leveling position right there like that. So we get this cap off, how it comes off like so. Okay, let's take a look under here. I'm curious to see if these are, if you can turn by hand or if you need a screwdriver. Oh yeah, you can turn them by hand. Okay, good. I always appreciate that. Front cap pops open like so. And uh, yeah, I mean, what else is there to say other than we got to get this mounted up on something and try it out. All right, and I think I have just the thing that we're going to try this on. All right, before we go any further, I want to uh, give you guys a little look through the scope. Give you an idea what the crosshair looks like. And what the magnification, it's currently on three on the magnification, but you can go up to nine. We're at 50 yards from that black diamond target. So that's what we're going to look at and what we see at full nine magnification at 50 yards and that black diamond's about 15 inches in diameter both ways at each point so looks pretty good to me one other thing i want to point out and we did talk about this when we unboxed it but the windage and elevation adjustments are adjustable by hand you don't have to have a screwdriver which is always nice and greatly appreciated it's real nice to get a hold of and turn those with ease, you don't have, like some of them you have to pinch the little thing and turn it. This one you just grab the dial right on the edges and turn it. So I really, really like that. Nice and easy to use, that's what I'm talking about. All right, we're down here on the range. I decided to go ahead and mount it up to the Daisy 1101S, a true springer in every sense of the word. So that's what we're gonna be doing with here, all right? We're gonna be using the JSB Exact Diablo 8.44 grain. Got a target out there at 50 yards. Dirty bird target on there, splatter dirty bird target. So we can see what we're doing, of course. Oh, wait a minute, wait just a minute. I know, I know, I know, I know. Don't worry, don't worry. Here we go. <laughs> How about over here? Ting! I know that's uh, what you wanted to see, the first thing at least. All right. Let's do this, see what we can get. See what we can get here. All right. Let me uh, do a couple things here. 50 yards. We're going to take a test shot first so I can just see where I'm at. We may have to make some adjustments. 
Okay, well, maybe not. Let's go with that. We will just go with that. It's uh, at nine, so that's about as far in as it'll bring it. So at 50 yards, it's pretty usable, obviously. Whoop, my fault. All right, calm down here. <laughs> not gonna be a tight group, that's for sure. It's not the scope's fault. It could be these pellets. This 1101S is usually pretty good. Could be these pellets though. Even though the JSBs are usually good through it. There we go. That's more like what I'm looking for. She's a jumpy one. I guess, no, no. I don't know. right below my little group there. We can always lock it down on the lead sled if we really wanted to, but that's not what I want to do. Okay. <laughs> so far, it's not the scope's fault so far. It's all me. <laughs> Starting to get a little group going below that other one now. It's all right. There we go. This is looking better now. Okay. That is an eight inch dirty bird out there. So it's a, uh, it's a pretty small target for 50 yards, but not doing too bad. And so far, it's pretty consistent. Had some flyers, which is normal. But so far, it's hitting where I'm aiming. As long as I don't get all jumpy with it, which has been the case on a couple of them here. Not too bad. It's hard to get a really steady shot with these springers. It can be done, but it's tough. They jump around. Yeah, I'm not uh, too disappointed with what we're doing here. Like I said, uh, this 1101S likes to jump around House of Pain style. It's true. <laughs> yeah, we're doing better now. We had those two flyers off to the left. And now we've got the little group forming around the bullseye. And that little group that I was doing below that. I'm just kind of trying to move it around a little bit so I can see what I'm doing. Cause I don't know if some of them go in the same hole or not, but I think we're good here. I think we're good. Just keep going here. Okay. We'll do one more. One more because I think it's safe to say after all these shots, scope is still Plenty good, has not uh, deviated from what it's doing, which is the ultimate goal here, to make sure that the scope is not deviating from what it's doing, and has not. So that is a good, good sign, and this thing's jumping like crazy, trust me. Yep, 
Yeah, that's that's good. Okay. Well, there you go. From what I can tell, looks pretty good. It's hitting where I want it to hit. This 1101S, you know, it's, it's, it's lightweight, so it's jumping all over the place, being it's a Springer. It's a pretty powerful Springer, too. We have uh, reviewed this in the past. But I wanted to put it on this one because it is quite a jumpy one, and that's what we're testing. We're testing to see if the scope will hold up. Nothing came loose, either. If the scope will hold up to the jumpiness of a spring piston brake barrel. And so far, throughout all those shots, plus I was sighting it in too, so I was taking shots doing that as well. That was off camera. So far, up to this point, it's held its own. It's hitting where I want it to hit. It has not deviated from where I want it to hit. The only deviation is me going, mm, well, you know. So we will continue to use it over time and see how things go, of course. But for now, working out just fine so pretty cool so there it is the discovery optics 39 by 40 shock proof scope also waterproof not sure if i mentioned that but i really like how it performs it held up great to all the jumpiness of a springer so far we're going to keep testing it as we get down the road i did put a lot of rounds there to really see you know if we could shake it around a little bit but it held true and hit where it was supposed to so that's all we can ask for Discovery Optics has been really great. Nice customer service from what I can tell. So yeah, if you're looking for something like that that can withstand all the jumpiness of a Springer brake barrel, this is definitely looking like a winner to me. So with that said, I'll catch you all down the road.